make this real. Yeah. Cool. yeah, whatever obstacles stand in the way, Elon Musk and SpaceX will undoubtedly propel the Starship to reach orbit. At that point, it's hard to deny that Starship's orbital maiden flight won't be a watershed moment for spaceflight. This will undoubtedly be a big slap to its biggest rival, Blue Origin, and even the whole rocket industry. Let's expose everything about this interesting topic in today's episode of Alpha Tech Channel. But first, you should know about the 18-year feud between the world's two richest men, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. The Musk-Bezos rivalry appears to date back to 2004, when the two CEOs met for dinner to discuss their respective reusable rocket ambitions, and it apparently didn't go well. I actually did my best to give good advice, which he largely ignored, Musk said after the meeting, according to Christian Davenport's book, The Space Barons. From 2004 onward, Musk and Bezos appeared to keep to themselves, but their rivalry continued in 2013 when things became contentious over leasing a NASA launch pad. SpaceX tried to get exclusive use of a NASA launch pad. Blue Origin filed a formal protest with the government to prevent SpaceX from using the pad. Bezos proposed converting it into a commercial spaceport available to all launch companies. Musk called the move a phony blocking tactic. SpaceX eventually won the right to take over the pad. In 2014, the two companies got into a patent battle when Blue Origin was granted a patent for drone ships, which are used for landing rocket boosters. SpaceX petitioned to invalidate the patent. The feud isn't just about space ambition, however. Musk told his biographer, Ashley Vance, that Blue Origin has repeatedly tried to snag talent away from SpaceX. Blue Origin does these surgical strikes on specialized talent, offering like double their salary, Musk said in Vance's 2015 biography. I think it's unnecessary and a bit rude. When the BBC asked Musk about Bezos in 2016, he responded, Jeff who? <laughs> on Twitter, Musk has repeatedly and publicly called Bezos a copycat. Once after Amazon announced its plan to launch internet beaming satellites and again when Amazon acquired self-driving taxi company Zooks. For his part, Bezos has been less overt about his distaste for Musk and SpaceX, but he's made veiled comments about his thoughts on the company's plans. Bezos' focus is on getting humans to the moon and he's described the idea of reaching Mars as unmotivating. Go live on the top of Mount Everest for a year first and see if you like it because it's a garden paradise compared to Mars," Bezos said in 2019. Things grew more contentious in the spring of 2020 when Blue Origin and SpaceX were both asked to submit designs for lunar landers to NASA for a mission to return humans to the moon by 2024, yet another avenue for the two companies to compete. In April 2021, NASA announced that SpaceX was the sole recipient of the contract for landing humans on the moon worth $2.9 billion. The decision infuriated Blue Origin, who immediately challenged NASA's decision. Blue Origin told CNBC that NASA's decision was unfair because it had moved the goalpost at the last minute and had negotiated a proposed price with SpaceX, but not with Blue Origin. In response to the New York Times report, Musk tweeted, can't get it up to orbit, lol. He followed the tweet up with a photoshopped image of Blue Origin's lunar lander that changed the name from Blue Moon to Blue Balls. In August, Blue Origin filed a lawsuit against NASA over the $2.9 billion contract, and this resulted in NASA agreeing to temporarily pause work on the contract. At the same time, an Amazon subsidiary filed a protest with the FCC over SpaceX's plans for more Starlink internet satellites, prompting a fiery response from Musk. Turns out Bezos retired in order to pursue a full-time job filing lawsuits against SpaceX, Musk tweeted, misspelling Bezos' name. Well, in each confrontation, Elon Musk has clearly humiliated Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin. As the famed theoretical physicist Michio Kaku says, SpaceX has a tremendous lead over Blue Origin. But this race won't last much longer. With the first Starship orbital flight, Jeff's space company can be as dead as a doornail. This is simply because Blue Origin couldn't even build a rocket into orbit or an engine on time, and SpaceX Starship is just on another level. The Starship would be a major step towards SpaceX's goal of making life interplanetary. The rocket's massive payload capacity along with reusability factor could drastically change the economics of launching people and things into space. 
Fully reusable Starship and Super Heavy systems are expected to allow for space-based activities that have not been possible before, SpaceX writes in the Starship User Guide. Starship could enable a conveyor belt logistical capacity to low Earth orbit. Those positioned to exploit all this major shift in capacity will prosper while all others will fade rapidly into obscurity. The first Starship orbital flight is the first time that SpaceX has produced a full-size prototype with two integrated parts. Together, Starship and Super Heavy will be nearly 120 meters tall when stacked for the launch. It is the largest monster on the planet ever built. Simultaneously with this mission, unlike the flight test, the altitude is only about 10 kilometers above sea level. At the current plan, Ship 24 and Super Heavy Booster 7 will make the longest flight ever. It will fly out of Earth's orbit, flying three-fourths of the way around Earth. This is the longest flight. The flight time is the longest as well. This is a flight that is considered a new leap for SpaceX. You know, Blue Origin has only sent two crews of tourists to an altitude of just a few miles above the Kármán line, the internationally agreed-upon boundary of space, at 62 miles. Just the Falcon 9 is more than enough for SpaceX to overcome that threshold. Until now, Blue Origin boasts about New Glenn, but everything about this new Jeff rocket is still on paper. Originally aiming for the first launch in 2020, the first flight is now slipped to no earlier than 2023. Perhaps when the first Starship orbital flight happened, Blue Origin's engines had not been even successfully tested. But in the event that the Starship flight blows up, this is far superior to remaining motionless, as Blue Origin does. Finally, not only Blue Origin, when SpaceX finally test flies and produces a reliable version of Starship in the next few years, it will disrupt the global launch industry. Previously, the limiting factor for what one might do in space has cost. At a price of $4.1 billion per mission, the SLS and Orion embody this concept. When Starship delivers, it will change the fundamental question behind our exploration program from what can we afford to do in space to what should we do in space. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget to share your ideas in the comment section. Everyone's support is motivation for us to create more quality content. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.